for this problem, they just want us to find the value of the derivative at 0 and 2. So this is our function, this is a little graph, and so let's find the derivative. So when you take the derivative of this, this will be chain rule, so it means we have a function on the inside. So we'll take the derivative of the outside, and it'll be negative sign, uh, keep the inside, then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So since it's pi over 2, since pi is just a number, you can view it as a constant, just like 2. This is um, connected, and so x will just become 1, so your answer will be pi over 2. So it'll be multiplied by pi over 2. So the actual question wanted you to um, find the derivative at 0 and 2. So we're going to plug in 0. So when we plug in 0 here, well, 0 times anything is just 0, and 0 over a number will just be 0. So we get sine of 0 times pi over 2. Well, now you'll use a negative, actually. Well, since you use the unit circle, well, you can just look and at the unit circle and find where sine is 0, and when sine is 0, it actually equals 0. So anything multiplied by 0 will just be 0. And now uh, the other part of the question just asked us to find um, when the derivative was 2. So we just plug it in when it's 2. So we have the same function, and all I'm doing is plugging in 2 for that x right there. So it'll be 2 pi over 2. So the 2's cancel out to give us negative sine pi times uh, pi over 2. So what is sine pi? Well, you're going to use that unit circle again. Um, on the unit circle, uh, sine of pi will actually be 0. So once again, anything multiplied by 0 will just be 0. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.